Let's do this one here without a calculator. The one on the tab, I will give you a calculator. I mean, you, you won't need a calculator to do the one on the tab. So you'll be fine with that. These are some of your properties. Remember your properties. Set these equal to x if you need to. The log is the exponent. Expand these two. Get rid of your radical. Make it a fractional exponent. Bring it down. You just undo the divide first. Do I need to put log 10? I don't need to say the base 10 here. This is the product. Don't expand these little parts. Condense. When I was adding exponents, I was multiplying. Bases. Turn this into a product. Dividing. Get these guys up here first. That was a radical. You can leave it to me this way, or you can put parentheses in your denominator because that absolute value will become the same as that. But you can leave it just like this one right here. Bring in one third up, make it a, a radical, and put in the divide. If it's factoring and, and taking the L in at both sides, this is condensing them to one. Put your line down the equal sign, get these two logs down to one divide, take the logs away, cross multiply. One factor. Factors equal to zero. Well, set your factors equal to zero. Then take the ln of both sides. X equals ln four and x equals ln two are my exact values. Put it in your calc. Give me three decimals. This one had a reject, no solution. Remember, our rate is small. If you're using PERT, we have to use LN. LNE has one property. Bring down the R5, divide by 5. Old town decreasing. There's your decrease rate in here. Raise it to the 10th power. You probably should raise this up since we were decreasing. We talked about this 39,812. I don't know what happened. Then decreasing when it's 30,000, take the ln of both sides. You can absolutely first divide by 55,000 if you like, and then not have to do the separate step. That's fine. There's the year. This one had a cycle every eight months, so you've got a cycle x divided by eight. This one is years. Convert your years to months and plug it in. Determine when it will reach 25,000. Set your y2. Divide by 20 makes life easier. And solve. It is adding three decimals. 